because you could go a half a step on them. Just uh, a whole turn. step, so you can oh, do cool. like a, a drop tuning. Got it. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, deep. Oh, no, you, your hand was yeah. in the way. I was going to oh, yeah. say. But uh, this was what an addition by thing? Ralph Mooney. That takes, because uh, he had a pedal on his steel guitar that would take the strings down a half step. Uh -huh. So when you push this, which it looks like a washer from a sink, yeah. you know, so, oh, so you can get that one going down and this going one going down, up. Going down and, up. <laughs> and then you get another string going a different direction and, and then you go back in time. Whoa. Yeah. So, and he's getting what, what did Ralph Mooney have to do with it? Again, he I got the mechanism on it. To that, take, he did, he take personally a high did? String. He it personally did? Yes. Yeah. Cool. How does drive? I'm a big Ralph Mooney fan. How oh, funny you say that. Paul Franklin fan, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what amp Roger was playing through this time? What was playing through? What amp, what amp was he playing through? He's actually playing through a little cube, rolling cube back there, oh. solid state modeling amp. Yeah. It's, it's actually modeling like a JC120. Yeah, so I was wondering. I didn't see a JC120. I thought, yeah. is he playing through a fender? It sounded too clean to be a fender. No, it's Marty and the uh, uh, mandolin.